I had seen Robots before, quite a long time ago, because I wanted to watch everything that Robin Williams has ever done, and he does voice one of the characters in this, but at the same time I'm a big animation fan, and it appealed to me anyway. But it occurred to me that I hadn't ever discussed it on this channel, and I couldn't really remember a lot of the details. So I decided to give it another watch, and I remembered liking it. Having re-watched it, I can say that I did still enjoy it, but it wasn't amazing. It didn't completely grip me. It was generally one of those films that you come away from it thinking, that was okay, I'd recommend it, but I probably won't ever watch it again. Now, granted, I, if, I, if I thought that last time, I have watched it again, but you know, maybe in 10 years time I'll forget how I felt and watched it again. This was originally released in 2005, directed by Chris Wedge and Carlos Saldana. And of course we have Robin Williams voicing the character of Fender. Ewan McGregor is our protagonist, Rodney Copperbottom. We also have Halle Berry, Mel Brooks, Jim Broadbent, Amanda Bynes, Jennifer Coolidge. I absolutely love Jennifer Coolidge. Brilliant um, voice cast. That's just to name just a few. And the narrative itself is pretty interesting. And I have to say, the beginning of it, I love. I absolutely love the beginning of this, where we have these two robots who are making a baby. But that is quite literal. They receive a package with all of the parts, and they have to put together the parts to make their little robot child. And I thought it was really cleverly done and really funny. And to be honest, I think that's probably the funniest bit in the whole thing. Granted, that might not be saying too much because it is hilarious and I do thoroughly enjoy it, but it kind of went a little bit downhill after that. Rodney is a very likeable protagonist. He is a, I believe he's like a late teen robot. I'm not exactly sure of his age. And he travels to the big city to um, try and pitch an invention and make a name for himself and achieve his dreams. Bearing in mind he was destined to be a dishwasher like his father, so... You know, there's a lot at stake here. This is basically his one shot at success. And of course, when he gets there, there are all kinds of pitfalls and problems. The narrative itself, I like. I think it works really well. I think it's executed very entertainingly and very effectively. It's a nice emotional journey. It goes from A to B without any problems, by which I mean narrative structure problems. The character, of course, does encounter all manner of problems along the way and all manner of individuals as well. Fender... When Fender first comes into it, Robin Williams' character, I was quite happy. Of course I was. And I have to say, Fender is one of my favourites. Biased? Yes. But a good character? I think so. There isn't anything about this that I don't think worked. You know, the narrative was interesting. It was well executed. It is quite funny. I don't think it was hilarious, apart from the beginning, which I did thoroughly enjoy. Um, but it was it was entertaining. The animation style is very pleasing. Twentieth uh, Century Fox do a lot of you know really entertaining animations, and this is no exception. I think some of the robot designs are all of the robots have very different designs to one another, which on the one hand is really entertaining and interesting, and means that it's visually quite appealing. But sometimes that can make the scenes feel quite cluttered and quite chaotic, and you're never quite sure where to look. And sometimes that can work if the scene is one of high action and Rodney is confused. But if that's not the mood or the theme of that particular scene, I don't think it works quite as well. So I think they could have... The styles of some of the robots are maybe just a little bit too varied sometimes to make the scenes as neat as they could be. Generally speaking, though, it's a nice enough film that I found to be decent. It was a nice entertaining film that I'm... Glad I've seen, or seen twice. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever watch it again, but I probably said that the first time. I do recommend it. It is on Disney+. Plus. If you haven't seen it and you like animation, give it a go and let me know what you think. Personally, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it once. I enjoyed it twice. I doubt I'll watch it a third time. 